So there's been some really nice sized Spanish mackerel popping up somewhat con inconsistently in the surf zone along with king mackerel. I did it like a mile out and I just didn't see anything, nothing up top. Uh, flounder season's closed, so I know if I start jigging around out there, sure, I got a shot at something that's not a flounder, but I think the majority of what we're gonna catch is flounder. All right, we're gonna get into like 20 feet of water along the beach here is what I think I'm gonna do. And then we'll end off the day jigging the rocks, you know, see if we can find some redfish or something, something like that. Well, we just spent this whole morning trolling live baits, dead baits. I mean, it's almost 11 o'clock now, so. I got a couple of new lures I want to try. Uh, um, try something different here. I picked a couple of these up. I wanted to try them. These are called the new V-Blades by Rapala. I thought they looked very interesting. I like their, their action. So I said, I thought these should work on my jetty and uh, there we go it's kind of like a six pretty well Cur that's what i was really curious about they weigh a half ounce so i was just really curious about their their sink rate they look like pinfish you know or small gold baits Guys, you wouldn't believe what I just caught. Check that out. What an awesome lure we've got here. This is the new Rapala. Um, it's like a half five braiding blade bait and half uh, uh, plastic lure. And I was looking at it and I was playing with these things um, uh, for. Uh, you know, white perch and striped bass and all that stuff last winter. And I saw it and I said, you know, this might actually work for sheep's head. It's not a giant, but whatever. He's not artificial, so he counts for a lot of big ones. That's cool. That is cool. Hmm. Let's try a pompano jig here. Goofy jig, right? Marked some really good looking fish here for a second. I mean, I know there's loads of tiny little sea bass and all that stuff here, as usual. Good fish. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me here? Guys, look at the size of that flounder. Oh, man, what a doormat. That's a southern doormat right there. Oh, oh. That is my, gosh, I think that is one of my biggest flounder for this part of the country. Oh, shit. Gosh, what a nice fish we're gonna have to release there. That sucks. That's a real nice flatty right there. Southern southern flounder. Gosh, on that goofy jig, man. I'm breaking out all these silly gizmos today. And uh, it's kind of paying off. Absolutely not targeting flounder. So uh, mark that up as another fish for those goofy jigs, man. We've got a sheep's head on our official. Been looking around trying to do different things that's kind of what i'm really gunning for here and you know pompano is another thing that was cool as hell to get a freaking flounder that size on our on that little jig that's money uh, and it's probably the biggest flounder i've caught on these rocks so far so uh, it gives me an idea where to fish for them so that's kind of cool too so Listen, I'm learning, 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 learning. So let's try a couple more spots here. We got a live pinfish out there. And he hasn't been, he hasn't really been touched much. 
Um, I was hoping that might be the lucky ticket here. Got something good there. Goofy, another goofy jig fish. Hey. Never a bad thing to see ya. It's a, probably just under slot uh, redfish. And I've caught these before on these jigs. If you've seen a, a video a couple, I don't know, a week or two ago, uh, we caught a couple reds on them. That's not too surprising. There we go. Something good there. Just another red. That's cool. Next two red fish now. Day for the reds. Small slots or just unders around there. A lot of these guys around, but they're fun. All right, man. I am a goofy jig fanatic now. After today, I love these things now. They look so stupid, but uh, I like them better than metal lures. Even maybe I don't know. We're fishing really shallow. We're trying for that diversity slam thing, so uh, I don't know how I feel about it all. Good fish too, man. Wear them out. Hot goofy jig bite. That one's on the teaser hook, I think. Look at all those parasites he's got lashing on to him. How crazy is that? Alright, packing this one in a minute. Yeah, I learned a lot today. I really did. When it comes to shallow water jigging on these rocks, this little silly goofy jig is one of the best lures you can use. I really started today looking for pompano and uh, spadefish is my backup, um, but you know what? Got our first sheep's head on artificial today, or first North Carolina sheep's head rather, and we got our probably one of our biggest, if not our biggest, flounder on a uh, goofy jig. And, uh, more redfish? No, that's not bad. Let's pack it in. Let's pack it in. Peace, brother. Uh, redfish got me pretty good. Oh, blood. Um, We'll be all right though. We're gonna beach the kayak right now and just hang out. Uh, listen to those goofy jigs again, man. They showed their worth. Uh, that's the second time we fished those things. Probably my second biggest flounder. I think the one I got in the ocean last year might have been same ballpark, six pounds, somewhere around there. Yeah, we had a long gap of action today, man. You know, YouTube doesn't see how much, uh, you know, plan B, plan C, plan D. You know, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel is what I wanted to do. Spade fish is what I wanted to back up. And then I'm just, you know, going for four hours without a bite until I decide to try something. First, just to salvage the day. Um, I had a couple of sheep set off camera that were okay size, but uh, never mind salvaging the day. Then, you know, doing a total 360 save the day. So, so I didn't realize, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I did not realize that my camera cut off there. Sometimes those GoPros, they'll be like, oh, recording, there's a light flashing. And as you get towards the end of a battery, sometimes you lose some footage. Okay, so let me show you this bait I was using. Uh, these are the new Rapala V blades. I'm not associated with them in any way. I actually saw the advertisement and was such a big fan, fan, fan of blade bait fishing uh, during my winter outings uh, for white perch and striped bass. Uh, I decided let's give these a try. Uh, the hooks that are on the stock ones, 
Uh, I think in the future we're going to try some configuration like this because we're going to fish them around structure. I hope that sheep said I broke the blade bait off. I think I didn't have the camera rolling when that happened. Cool, interesting, they weigh a half ounce each. So here's the, the burning question, right? Who fishes regular blade baits in salt water? I don't know of many people that have tried. Sure, I've tried here and there. Um, maybe those would work for sheep's head too and drum and stuff like that. Something to think about, man. It's just something to think about. All right, the other thing is we've got these things, right? So this is the second video I fished them yet. Now they are a confidence lure. That's it. So that's how you build something into a confidence lure, right? I fished them on the docks. Uh, I have not seen people fish these here uh, in North Carolina. I don't think any of the tackle shops really carry them. It's a Florida thing for pompano. So actually, I did catch my first pompano from the surf the other day. He wasn't big. Uh, it was right after I surf launched my kayak uh, and I got skunked for king mackerel and Spanish mackerel and I just gave it a couple minutes uh, with sand fleas and boom, I got my first pompano. So now I'm obsessed with trying to learn pompano fishing here in North Carolina and hence I started buying a couple of these and I'm kind of throwing them in every environment I think might hold pompano. I've been fishing these guys shallow, less than 10 feet of water, right? As soon as we get over 15 feet of water, I get kind of one dimensional. I either fish metal lures, I fish bait, or I fish wide sheds, right? Plastics. Those are the only three things I fish over 15 feet of water for the most part. Shallow stuff, I kind of play around a little more um, than I do in the deeper, my deeper jigging game. So uh, yeah, interesting little lure, that's it in person. This was an ass slow day of fishing. It was so slow. I didn't get anything good till after 11 o'clock. So as of right now, we don't have a, a Hobie. Um, last communication I received is that something was approved, uh, even though it was already out of warranty, still there was something approved, but this might take a month or two. The, the, the warranty service um, it has to get approved, it takes three, four weeks, the kayak shows up. Uh, we're going to be working that Predator for a while. It's going to be a little harder for me to get into the ocean because that boat is just a little heavier. Uh, it's a little tougher to surf launch. It takes a little bit more out of me physically. Uh, that's, it reminds me more of a pro angler than it does uh, my other kayak, the Outback. So that would be my equivalent. The Old Town Predator is more of a pro angler than it is an Outback. Um, so I can't do the mileage that I like to do. So. We'll do some more surf fishing videos and probably a little bit more like this jetty and inshore stuff until we get a kayak that can push us out back into the ocean to do two mile trips and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. So hopefully you fellows enjoyed. Uh, there's affiliate links in the video's description. Uh, all this stuff, it's interesting to me. Um, I think uh, these things would absolutely slay scup in Long Island Sound. If you're watching from up north, I think these little jigs will destroy a scup in Long Island Sound. Just my opinion. Okay, let me go.